You know, in the other video where I was talking about, besides the uh, biological or genetic element to having the possibility of uh, being able to be gay, um, uh, there are some scenarios that could uh, basically cause someone to not be bi, but be gay. One of them being a household, uh, a guy being raised by a single mother who says negative things often about masculinity. Then you have the kids who had fathers, but their relationships were awful. But there's a third thing, and there, there are several others, but there's a third important one that I didn't mention. And it can be just as powerful, if not more powerful, than some of the things that actually happen at home. And that's when kids are bullied. When boys get bullied, oftentimes it's because they're not considered masculine enough. Well, if you bully someone at that age, elementary school age, for not being masculine enough, some of the people who get bullied that way will have something in their heads just click and it's like, well, I don't want to be like that. Again, it's not some sort of conscious choice, though it could be that kind of part of the choice, but there's other parts of the making that statement to yourself that has ramifications that go a long way because you haven't had the chance to, uh, to develop. So in someone's head, they get the idea that bullying makes them more masculine, that bullying makes them more alpha. And what happens to someone is, well, if that's what being alpha is like, I want nothing to do with it. And now we have adults with that same attitude. Bullying makes me alpha. That's not what being alpha is. So many of us on this platform are acting just like elementary school bullies. People will say, well, we're adults, we should be able to handle it. You're adults, you shouldn't be participating in it in general. I mean, let, let me ask you something. Can you picture, can you picture someone like George Carlin having the kind of behavior that we're talking about here? How about uh, Christopher Hitchens? How about Patrick Stewart? How about Terry Gilliam? How about John Cleese? How about William Shatner? Any of them? Can you picture any of them doing this sort of thing? Can you picture someone who is well-respected outside of social media? They're well-respected. Can you picture them doing this? Any of them? It's almost like people are going, well, I never had a chance to be a bully when I was growing up, and now I have my chance when I'm an adult so other adults can handle it. I need to live my second childhood by being a bully. I mean, it just kind of seems what it's like. And then there are those who were bullies in elementary school too. So, and you know, now they can return to this thing that makes them feel good temporarily, somehow. Something I never really understood. Why would you get off on someone else's misery or attempt to make them miserable? I don't get it. And it's scary to me how people can be that disconnected from what they are actually trying to do. When you want to make someone feel like shit and you go through with it, I mean, sometimes, I think everyone at some point has a desire to make someone feel like shit, but to actually go through with it, I don't understand that. That's sick. It's sick. It's, it's, it's truly sick. It's demented. It's disturbing. On a far, far larger level than people who believe there are more than two genders. Far, far worse. Far worse. 
And I just, I, I can't wrap my mind around it. And it's the same kind of mindset that those who have the genetic predisposition, who might have been by the bullying mindset, makes them gay. Because why would they ever want to associate with a mindset that looks at other people that way? So now apply this to SJWs.